refreshing to find somebody who went to the scriptures and actually believed them and took them literally. But let's take Miss Lupus here. This girl had lupus. Well, she couldn't walk. Come on, run down there. See? Now, she couldn't walk. She came in a wheelchair. And lupus, you can only get worse. How long ago was it you came? Exactly a year ago. I said, send your wheelchair back to the hospital with a sign on it, Jesus emptied this. I'd been living a life where everything had gone wrong. My marriage had gone wrong and my family had gone wrong and it was a very miserable time. And suddenly I was in the middle of people, in the midst of people who were happy and laughing and it was just something so new. It was like walking into sunshine out of darkness. And it had a real impact on me. Suddenly I saw that life didn't have to be the way I was living it. I had, I had a choice. I could move into a new type of life. And it was thrilling. It was so exciting. Um, and I, I couldn't resist it, could I? It's going to change. Just watch me. Look. Now blink tight. Now open. Now blink again. Now open. Just relax. Relax. God does it. God opens blind eyes. You're all right. Look at me. He loves you. He came to break the chains. All right? What can you see now? You can see me. Isn't that lovely? I was ill about six months after my daughter Alice was People born. Experience. Well, I said to this young lady over here, I'll pray for her. So I will. Come on. Up you get. She's got ME. It's a real disease and the doctors are wrong if they say it isn't. But Jesus Christ is over every disease. Lord, from this day, change things around. It was only really after that meeting that I went to, went to a Sunday lunch with another couple from the church and then I suddenly realised, well, I don't really feel that tired and uh, the following week I just wasn't as tired as I, I had been. And when you came? I was feeling really, really ill, trying to look after a three-year-old was very difficult. I'm just, I can look after her all day now, rather, before I couldn't, I could barely look after her for half a day. And I, Last week after I was prayed for and healed, I looked after for three days in a row, and I just felt really good. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Giving life back. You know, I'm six foot six, and a lot of people tend to get back problems. I mean, I've had back problems now for about ten years. I've been off work a month here, a couple of months there. So I know what it's like, but I mean, I was, I was in the right state. What's wrong with you? You've got a bad back. How bad is it? Permanent epidural put into my back, which consists of a, a pipe being put into my spine and then morphine being pumped directly into my spine to try and kill the pain. Just walk normally. No, no, no. I want you to walk normally. You're going to walk normally. Okay, look at me. Look at me. What's your name? Sorry. In the name of Jesus, I Curses and then he uh, blessed me. You've no power to hold this man. Uh, Jesus to remove all the pain from my body. No power and we started walking up and down the church. And I was very, very worried about it. And I was shaking like a leaf. By the time we'd got to the first end to turn round, the pain had gone. As simple as that. As simple as that. It just went. One minute it was there, the next minute it wasn't. That feels better. Yeah, and I'd had pain for a greater or lesser extent for 14 months. And even when it was at its best, it was still restricted my walking. If at the very best I could walk maybe um, 30 paces before I had to stop. That was at its very best. And afterwards, we came out of the church. Michael invited me back for lunch. He's got 25 acres of land at the back of the, their site, and I walked all around it before lunch. With no problems whatsoever. Mm. Something I hadn't done for a long time. It was just agony. Just, just agony. 
walking, sleeping, whatever I did, it was just painful, you know, it really was, it was, and getting up in the morning and doing my job, you know, domestic appliance engineering, I've got to get out in the van, travel around, and driving was just unbearable. You want to lie there, or do you want to get up? Get up. The evening prior to going get to the up. church, we had the emergency doctor out because the the pain was getting so much, the, the leg was pulsating actually with pain, and I just couldn't stand anymore. And he actually gave me a letter to take back to the doctors because he said he couldn't give me any snap. more painkillers because we, I was on the okay. strongest ones he could prescribe. So Time to let those things go. Lord Jesus, you came to give him life. When I Mr. Reed was giving me the blessing, the you could just feel it getting easier and easier. And this day, over a few minutes, just all that pain going and being able to move again. Right. It's unbelievable. You don't believe it? It's there, it's gone. I know. Well, what did you expect? <laughs> Go on, walk. This last week since the blessing, it's been absolutely marvellous. Never taken a painkiller since that day. You know, the workload has increased tremendously, it really has. I mean, I'm busy every day of the week now, you know, it's really... It's